Alrighty, PG-13, this is G.I. Joe, 1983, Sky Striker. Do, 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 do. Now, the 1983 Sky Striker came with Pilot Ace, and it was a two-seater. It did have also the Sidewinder missile, the Sparrow missile, and the Phoenix. Now, this two-seater, well, mine's, my canopy's a little bit loose, but Ace fit in here, and it looked like Ace had more like a, a spacesuit instead of a pressurized suit. <laughs> well, this pressurized suit does look like a spacesuit. Anyways, there's limited detail in there. Now, it did come with two parachutes, but I don't have any parachutes. And, well, it is a fantastic, awesome jet. I did have one of these as a kid, and the seat was melted. It had a, somebody must have used a uh, something to melt the seat. So if you ever find one with a melted seat in the middle, they must have used a paper clip or something. Part way in, that was my sky striker that I had. Anybody out there comes across it, let me know. Now the engine covers do remove, so it is <laughs> freaking awesome. So you do have two engine covers. This does pop off fairly easily. And you can get a good look at the engine. And you can have your mechanic, you know, working on the, the sky strike, doing some preventive maintenance. <laughs> oh. Now, this is a beautiful jet, and I do love it. You know, there is another version, HEC Hooded Coke Commander pointed out that the nose tip has a slightly less detail so it's missing this part of the detail so if you do come across one of the first versions like that then you're lucky but we do have the missiles on the bottom we have the sidewinder which is a short range medium range and long range so we have the sparrow and the rise of the phoenix the phoenix and a fuel tank, which I always thought held the safety safety life raft inside. <laughs> you can see the detail on this is just just beautiful. Mine needs to be cleaned. Oh no, <laughs> got some dirt on it. But the back engines also were removable, so you could pull them out and have your mechanics servicing them. So you know those pull out. And then there's the little hook here, the arrestor hook that just clips into the back. Now the newest guy striker, oh, we'll get to that. But the box art always showed that it had the uh, the black fins, and well, you know, with the eagle on it. I don't know if these are compatible. Probably not. You know, they should have. That's one thing Lenny should have actually done, is made it all compatible, you know, with the uh, 83. That would have been nice. So you could take this glass out and fit it in there. I haven't tried that yet, but I wonder if that's a possibility. But obviously it won't fit the other way around. But I wonder if this glass will fit in here. Anybody wants to try that and let me know, feel free to. Now, this guy striker. This was my, oh yes, this was my Super Bowl. I mean, I was just, oh wow. And I watched it at the end and just the numbers just went through the roof. Over 16,000. I'm pretty sure they made 20,000 of these because they had extra that they resold again and they sold out within an hour. But this, the way Lenny designed it was beautiful. You know, you could move the wings and you know, it, it just the extra detail. We even got Wayne, Wayne Ruffle. <laughs> oh. So you could, you know, you don't have to worry about your landing gear coming down. You could open your wings up. And just the beauty of this jet, you can find it on eBay right now. It is super beautiful. Like, you could pose it whatever way you want. There is uh, extra effects that go into the into the guns here. I mean, we even have a little radar underneath. 
Now, they could make a super stealth, and a super stealth, yes, X4 Team Tomcat, super stealth, you know, you could have this come out a little bit. And another thing with supersonic or hypersonic is the faster you go, you can make a, a double cone. Then you go into a triple cone, and then you go into a five cone. The faster you go. How do I know this? Because of the ancient alien technology. Don't tell anyone, though. <laughs> Hypersonic, supersonic, ultrasonic. Wow. Now, the configurations, you can get tons, because there's these little clips here. Get different configurations for your, your bomb load. Your ordnance. Like, this is just beautiful. You got extra missiles with this. You did get um, a ladder and everything else. You got Martha Stewart right here. <laughs> it's not scarlet. Her hair's not red. <laughs> With a bow that didn't even have a handle. <laughs> That's not how you hold it. <laughs> oh, can you believe these people at Asbo? They screw up and then they, uh, they don't have any accountability there. But anyways, I will give Lenny credit for this. This is a beautifully designed jet. Now these panels right here do come off. I don't know if you'd have to use a screwdriver or what to get them off, but they do pop off. Whether you have to do one first, there we go. And the ladder does fit under here. So you can pop off this one and then the other one beside it. And it's got even more detail, like wow. Look at the detail. It even has the uh, part of the, the gun there. <laughs> Oh, this is just beautiful. So you can pop these off and pop them back in again. And it's quite, it's quite simple. Lenny, that is a beautiful thing you did. Lenny. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lenny. <laughs> oh. Now, another cool feature on this. I'm going to have to pull back the camera. Oh, man. I just... This jet is still something that I'm in awe because I loved it. You know, I did get one when I was a kid from the garage sale came in a big suitcase I told you about <laughs> so we're gonna try to see if I can show you without even taking the stand off so this little hook here which I'm having a malfunction this part seemed to be locked in here there we go it's a little stiff but anyways you slide this part and there goes your wheels just for a perfect landing but you have to make sure it's locked in tight. And this hook seems to be there. And you can slide it in when it's even locked like that. You don't have to worry about your hook dropping. And it does have the back. The back does have the uh, some cool details. Even this rudder piece moves. But the hook will hook in there. These engines do pull out. I don't know how well that's going to come in. Don't want to drop this. But you can try to work these out. <laughs> Maybe you stick your finger in there. Oh, there we go. And look at the detail on that. And it has a little tab to match up. Like, this is phenomenal. Like, they just thought of everything. Whereas on the 83 Sky Striker, it's nice and smooth. But wow. And it just pops in fairly simple. So when you want to do maintenance on it, you can. Now, I left off some of the other trademark stickers. Because I just wanted it nice and clean on the top. You know how that shows you the Sky Striker mode, like that. And I left that off. And I left off the the stripes. It's already got some stripes. So it's got some paint apps on it. And, you know, it looks fantastic. And the stand just makes it even better. Like, this is just a marvel of engineering. Like, However, the canopy, I'm not no, not too sure if I like just a part canopy, but they should have included a full canopy, like two pieces, because they did, did give you an extra canopy part. Don't get me wrong, this is fantastic. And that little ladder fits in there. However, this doesn't slide, but it does clip into the side there, where I showed you those removable panels. This does come off easy. Now, I'm wondering if you do that too many times, Will these little tabs break? You know, this is the extra part they should have given you. <laughs> but just the detail in here was 
fantastic. Like, Lenny did such an amazing job on this. And it really sucks that, uh, that we couldn't get more. <laughs> this should have been, like, look at the detail on that. The detail is beautiful. And we got a new figure, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> oh. Now, I leave off the other effects just because I like it nice and plain. And, you know, it does have two parachutes. It is a beautiful jet. So I do recommend if you're going to get one, you know, you'll find it at eBay. Maybe even some of your collectible stores might have them. And you can probably buy the jet by itself. Maybe three to five hundred. It all depends on who's trying to price gouge you. <laughs> but, again, this is beautiful. And there's a couple different settings for the stands. I mean, everything about the upgrade is awesome. I mean, it even had the f extra fins. Came with the black fins. Now, yes, some people did have issues where they're missing pieces. So, if you didn't open up your Sky Striker, <laughs> you'll never know. And knowing is half the battle. Now, the box art also was just beautiful. G.I. Joe Sky Striker. Like, you could see the box art. I'm gonna hold it back here. Just beautiful. Beautiful detail. I mean, and it came with two figures, not one two like wow uh, to this day I'm still in awe of this I love this beautiful jet and we'll show you the back oh something was stuck to it now <laughs> now now we've got some yeah, but anyways wow so you got 12 missile accessories Two bombs, wow. Anyways. <laughs> Even the, no oh yes, we forgot to talk about the nose cone. The nose cone is soft as well. <laughs> this little piece here, that's soft. And it's similar to this. This one also had a nose cone. So anyways, if they were gonna design a super stealth F-14 Tomcat, maybe they are, maybe they already have one. Maybe they have a fleet of them. You know, I wish they would bring that back this jet, and they could, you know, use the vertical landing takeoff as well, incorporate that into it. You know, there's lots you could do with this beautiful jet. Oh man! <laughs> so, anyways, I did fall in love with this one, 1983, and I just loved it ever since. You know, this is the piece that you take off your flag, fly around for fun, just waft way through the danger zone. You know, they should have had a super time cat in the movie. I love this. I recommend you get one. If you're looking for a vintage one, you might be able to find one for anywhere from $100, $300. Some might be complete, some might be missing parts. But overall, it has stood the test of time. And it is the most beautiful jet I have ever had. This is my golden jet. Just friggin' beautiful. And the upgraded version is fan friggin tastic. Fully recommend you get one. If you haven't yet, do so. Because these will just go up and up in value. Beautiful jet, nicely made. Wow. And I'd love to see this made in real life as a stealth. Because you could do so much more with this. You know, this could be made into a stealth fighter jet. Bring back the Tomcat. Thanks for watching. Yo, Joe! And remember to like and subscribe.